So, when you think of agriculture, what is the first thing that comes into mind? Farming. Researching in a lab. Developing new food products. The interesting part is that agriculture is a combination of all three of these areas. And even more. Ever since I was a young child, I always had a passion for food. My mom is one of the best cooks I know, and she made it a priority to get me involved in the kitchen with preparing meals for my family and friends. When I got to middle school, I also realized I was pretty good at the sciences such as biology and chemistry. So I decided to marry my love for food and my passion for science, and that's how I ended up at food science. Now, with that being said, let me show you one of my favorite experiments. Food science is the application of science, technology, and engineering as it relates to food materials, ingredients, and their food products. Have you ever wondered how gummy worms or gummy bears were made? Well, if so, today is your lucky day because we will be doing an experiment called Alginate Worms where I can teach you all about it. Let's get started. So, the materials that you will need for this experiment are a pipette, food coloring, I have red, but you can feel free to use any color you would like, deionized water, sodium alginate, calcium chloride, and sodium chloride, more commonly known as table salt. It's very easy to prepare the solutions that I have here. All you need to do is take two grams of sodium alginate and mix well into 100 milliliters of deionized water. Follow the same procedures for the calcium chloride and sodium chloride. Using two grams of calcium chloride added to 100 milliliters of deionized water and two grams of sodium chloride added to 100 milliliters of deionized water. Using your pipette, pipette a thin stream of sodium alginate into the calcium chloride solution, just like so. Set it aside and we'll come back to check on it in a minute. Using your pipette again, Add a thin stream of sodium alginate to your sodium chloride solution. We'll wait a couple minutes or so and then come back to see what we have. If done correctly, you should see gummy worms in your calcium chloride solution, just like so. You can squeeze them and feel them just to see what the texture is like and if they resemble any kind of gummy worms or gummy bears that you've eaten before. In your sodium chloride solution, however, you shouldn't have any gummy worms. Does anyone know why this happens? Well, I'll give you a brief chemistry explanation to explain this to you. Calcium is a divalent ion, meaning that it can form two bonds with sodium in the sodium alginate. This is why you have a rigid gummy worm forming. However, sodium chloride is a monovalent ion, meaning that it can only form one bond with sodium alginate and not two like the calcium chloride. Another helpful tip to make this experiment go even better is to prepare your calcium chloride solution in advance. This allows the calcium ions to sit for a while and form even stronger bonds so that you will have more rigid gummy worms. So the next time that you're at the grocery store, check out the ingredients label of some of your favorite items. You never know, they may contain alginate. I'm sure you all are wondering, can you eat this? Of course you can. That's one of the perks of being a food scientist. 
you get to taste your experiments. Not all of them, but just some. And in this case, I'll do you a favor and try it for you. Mmm, very good.